This is us, quarter past four. We're supposed to have been leaving at quarter past three. That's not bad for us. Um, this uh, is probably gonna be as real as it gets. I'm not washed today. I have done a full day of work and just finished and tried to get packing finished. I haven't got a clue what I've got. I haven't got a clue what I haven't got. I've got not got a clue where anything that I've got is. But we're on the way out the door, so. Gonna have to do. Packed. Ready to go. Oh, by something. Big thing that was swatted off me, I don't know where the hell it went. I think it may have killed it to be quite honest, but it was bloody big, whatever it was. I just watched something like all organ up. No, no, it's that. Where? Oh, there. Ooh, it's just a flying ant. Uh, have we got a tissue, anyone? <laughs> well, this is eventful so far. I thought I saw something like that. I just didn't know if I Flying ant in the car. Mm. Bit all over. And. <laughs> I hope there's only one. <laughs> oh god. Someone's finally quit procrastinating and we're off. It's not procrastination. Not yes, the it is. Oh, that'll be me. <sighs> Done. Yeah. Okay, so after, uh, I think it was only two trips back into the house, we've, we've made it, we're on our way. We're leaving now late. We're leaving. I'll be back later to late. pick up whatever we forgot. <laughs> This is the real side of real people vlogging that I just, you know, a full family going on holiday that have a mum that is not the most adept at doing anything but procrastinating at organisation. Or English apparently. No, not all of it. Quick look at our hotel booking. Good afternoon. I have given you a complimentary upgrade to one of our superior runway view rooms. Oh. This was our last inter interconnecting room for a runway. Kind regards, Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> Pixie dust before we've even left the left the country. <laughs> That's Good amazing. Man. Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> so we are on our way to Radisson Blue. We haven't stayed there for years. It was a really good deal, and I cannot believe that we've just got it even better now, so this is incredible. Room doors open. Right. Ooh, borders biscuits. 
Hey, oh, well, that's man. a bit better than Crawford's. Oh, man. <laughs> it's not Holiday Inn Express anymore, love. Oh, look, we got robes. Are you kidding me? No. Look at us in a superior room. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna go and take our superior car to the superior <laughs> park. Oh, you're a bit close, aren't you? I mean, it's yeah, I'm too far. Just very, keep it the way it is for you. very big oh, separate beds. But it's a lovely big size room, isn't it? It's a bit different than us all sharing the uh, oh, premier inn. <laughs> in <laughs> oh, Ooh, bowl of biscuits. That is just what I said. <laughs> oh, it's got crunch as well. Oh, and galaxy hot chocolate. In there, though. Look like they've been well thumbed. <laughs> but complimentary water. Hello. <laughs> you were supposed to open that door to me. Oh, sorry, going to do that again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, back through there. Oh. <laughs> right, we need to get going. The cameras are recording the condition yeah. of your vehicle, alright. <laughs> load your vehicle and check in at reception. Or just go down one of these lanes, I guess. Yeah, then. I guess you go down one that's open. Down to here, or maybe take it up that way. Yeah, looks like it's opened up that way. That was really simple. There's a drive in and the barrier goes up and checks your vehicle's condition. A very nice gentleman showing us where to go. All good. Yeah. So very stress free. Heading into here now. Uh, is it in the terminal? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Well, I suppose that's handy if you're going straight to departures. Which way not? <laughs> and easy yeah and a nice easy walk it'd have been easier if they were working uh, i knew it wasn't working i know i know even now it feels odd yeah we both stepped onto it still sort of in anticipation of it moving and it didn't but it's like when you get off the um, the rapids and stuff and you get off onto the one of those wheels yeah. and you have to figure out how to walk <laughs> on something that's going round. Funny how things work, I've just found my actual driving licence in the back of my notebook, um, having specifically put my driving licence in with my passports to make sure I didn't forget it. So it turns out the one that I made sure I'd packed is the out date one. But it's all good, because I've got my actual one as well, in case I need it. <laughs> well, we got these two rooms for £204. That's not each, £204 for both rooms. I don't even know how that's possible. Um, was that including your discount? Four quid. <laughs> so it was through booking.com. 
204 pounds for two rooms and they upgraded us to an airport view good starts of the holiday so far hickory's was wonderful that brisket sub yeah the, the server was fantastic really really lovely um attentive and quick with service and not concerned when we weren't ready to order the first time um, on the second time <laughs> the yeah oh my god the brisket sub was amazing oh the gravy yeah your sub but you know we shared it like we'll be sharing a lot of things yeah, in the yeah, but I got to order the burger because Harry wanted the burger but didn't know if he wanted the fajitas more. And then I swapped to... I've gone through my life <laughs> ordering food in case one of my children doesn't want what they are. Well, that's all more the full view. I wouldn't usually do it and I did it tonight. When then you offered to get the um, brisket sub. <laughs> The burger was all right, but I'm not really a big burger fan, which is why I didn't really want to order the, the burger anyway. Um, what did you think to the burger? Oh, it was just a burger. It wasn't anything fantastic. It was nice. What about your tater tots? Oh, they were amazing. Oh, was really it amazing. poutine tater tots? Poutine, yes. No, I don't think that was proper poutine. Well, I'm sure it wasn't. Yeah, well, it had bits, of bits cheese. but yeah. the chili cheese loaded fries, incredible. I can almost still feel where the chilli hit my tongue now. What did Harry have the fajitas? Oh my god, Harry doesn't normally eat that much when we're out. Um, and considering we'd, ate, we'd eaten my crumble that I'd made earlier today and an omelette, um, he did brilliantly. So it must have been, well it was lovely because you tried the chicken, didn't you? Amazing. Spicy. Yeah, it was a Cajun spice. I didn't think it was too spicy, but it was very nice. Oliver's 3am mac and cheese. He Wolfed it down, didn't say too much because he was too busy eating it. Cleared the plate as usual. Cocktails were beautiful, I had a, a classic marg and Oliver had something that was pineapple shaped. That's all I can tell you about that. We have just had such a chilled morning, early morning watching the uh, the runway and all the comings and goings of the planes and watching people board um, and and just watching it with uh, flight radar so that you can see where people are going and when the next plane's coming into land and then you know when to look out for it it's just been ace really good haven't had a, a airport view hotel for ages have we no so I would definitely recommend doing it if you can. Um, we wouldn't have, we didn't book for an airport view because we didn't think we could get into connecting rooms with uh, twin beds. Um, but I inquired about it yesterday, and that was when he just came back saying that um, we got a complimentary upgrade. So absolutely, so impressed with that. It's made a brilliant start to the holiday and we need to go down for breakfast shortly, don't we? How are you feeling this morning? Tired. Yeah, you didn't like the bed, did you? I Too the hard. Bed was mega comfy. Yeah, I love the bed. It is a little hard, but it's not not in an uncomfortable way. It's yes, nice. it is. No, it's uh, lying to you. Alright, come on, let's go for breakfast.
quarter past eight. We've left the hotel and we are on our way to Terminal 2 to drop the bags off and get through security. We did get security fast, tra uh, fast track. Um, no idea yet if it's going to be useful but it was only £6 each. So, we're on our way. We threw bag drop, um, nice and easy. It was a little bit of a what, maybe a ten minute wait, but it was nice chatting in the um, in the queue as well. So we are now <gasps> having a drink of water. This is the guy that walks through here and chokes and complains about all the smells that today got made a beeline for it. Yeah, that's because I'm sweating. <laughs> No, nice. this is <laughs> remarkably chilled. Um, the terminal is looking amazing, Terminal 2. It's really crisp and pretty. Uh, and there's seat spare, which is odd. It's quiet, which is odd. Everything feels a bit surreal. And we've only got an hour and ten minutes till boarding, apparently, so... Um, we're not even going to need to be here that long. Which is good, because all we're going to do is spend money in the time that we are here, obviously. Right, which ones do you want then, Harry? I don't know. Well, we're getting M&M's. So much chocolate to choose from. One peanut M&M's. Oh, that's surprising. What? It's full to the top. Is, it, is that yeah. what you want? You can feel it. That's what you want? Yeah. Oh, oh, seriously, we've got a bucket. No. So, what did we decide on? Uh, a bucket of Maltesers, uh, peanut M&Ms, and Skittles. Kilo of Skittles yes. and a kilo of oh, M&Ms. Yes. Waiting for the gate to be called at the moment. So, um, the gent on the desk did tell us what um, what gate it was, but I can't remember. Shark. I can guess it's that one over there. Yeah, yeah. It's likely to be the one with the Aer Lingus playing outside. We were going to get a lounge. We decided we were going to go for the Aspire Lounge. And then there were no places, no lounge places that we could find. And we were looking from like hmm, two and a half months out, I think, and nothing going. But then we thought, well, that's all right, because we're going to the Radisson, so we'll have the breakfast, which was amazing. Really pleased with that. Uh, we're big Premier Inn breakfast fans. <laughs> But it made a massive difference going to the Radisson room. We were. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, we might have to go back to our, usual, our old tradition of, uh, of the Radisson. Um, there weren't too many other hotels around when we used to come to the Radisson, so they were all quite a long way out from the airport. And I think the reason that, the, uh, that it was so much cheap this time was because of the proximity of the new Holiday Inn, which is literally across the road from Terminal 2. Um, they say it's closer, but would you say it was what? closer, the Holiday Inn that we passed? No. It's physically closer, but to get here you... And, yeah, and you, you do have to walk across the road, so... Although, yeah, in August it'd still be alright if you're coming in the dead of winter. Probably not so good. So we were going to get lounges, and then we thought, we're going to the Radisson. And we won't need to, because we'll just basically stay in there till quite late but of course when it comes to it you have to go to bag drop just as soon as you can because you just can't take that chance with how long it's going to be how big the queues are going to be how long it's going to take to get through security even with fast track so we've come through here sat down and i cannot believe how quiet it is i've never known it like this in august it's just incredible 
just have a look around at how still it is. And now just waiting to go. Everybody excited? You look terribly excited. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to just say about breakfast, uh, what you enjoyed? Hash browns. Well, talking sentences. Hash browns were good. <laughs> I enjoyed them good. very much. The end. Oh, uh, how much breakfast? It was alright. I mean, nice having fresh orange juice for once and. Uh, you mean as opposed to what Holiday Inn Express yeah. serves you? Yeah. Sunny D. <laughs> and to be honest, I wasn't really all that hungry this morning, so. Oh. Yeah. So you didn't make the most Bacon of it? was lovely, I remember. Oh, yeah. uh, so was black pudding. Wasn't a huge amount of sausages. Beans were beans. Don't really think you can say anything about them. Pastries were nice. Ooh. I had the pastries and they were lovely. And what else do I have? Uh, the granola thing. Yeah, oh, you know what yeah, that, yeah. that was stunning. Yeah, uh, yogurt, compote. I bet the blackberry granola. would have been nice as well, but somebody else. <laughs> Topped with a blackberry and a strawberry, but uh, Tony didn't get his. Tony very rarely gets his full food, if it's anything on it that Harry likes. Um, you just see a hand sneak in, disappear again. I asked for poached eggs and got them and then we saw the menu afterwards that said that you can ask for poached eggs, french toast, pancakes and all sorts and kind of regretted that we hadn't seen it until we'd already been feasting on the bacon and hash browns and stuff but it was all very nice. Been called to gate, A10 and uh, whoa. Oh, God. sorry, I forgot I was on a slope. <laughs> and it looks like there's a big row of aircraft all going to Orlando, which is great. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. past 10 so should be boarding shortly it said the gate closes at 20 past and there are people boarding but it's so quiet still i've never seen it I've, i know i've said it before i've never seen it like this it's just dead there's hardly anyone here normally the place is absolutely buzzing and kids running around everywhere and it's just not like that at all i mean i can't work out if that's nice or if it's sort of missing some of the atmosphere um, don't get me wrong, I'm obviously well excited. But it's warm already here. What the heck am I going to be like when I get there? And I want to say hello to Molly and Scott because we, we sort of came, seem to be following each other around the airport. Congratulations on your wedding anniversary tomorrow, which by the time this comes out will be probably nearer your second anniversary. So they got married last year um, and this is their honeymoon that they're coming for now so um, it's been lovely to meet and chat with you um, and I hope you enjoy the videos. <laughs> Just started boarding so only business class and now we're not in business class we are a bog stand. Airlines flight EI352 Orlando, capacity seating rows 46, 36, 45, 46, 47, 48, yeah, we're not in rows 46 to 36. <laughs> well, Keep hanging on. Class, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I only saw two people. This is still surreal because it's still really calm and there's just. You know, there's no mass excitement and things. Is this just the world since Covid or, or is it just... I don't know, I can't understand it. Have you got any reasons for it? Can you think of any reasons that it's just this quiet? I don't know why I have part of this
First of all. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. I mean, we've never been on Aer Lingus before. I'm pretty sure it's your hard work, babe. Got the light We've got loads. We've got an inch or two. Which is an Airbus A330 to fasten your seatbelt, insert the flat metal end into the buckle. To secure it around your waist, hold firmly on the strap and to open your seatbelt, lift the buckle cover. Water and then the grand reveal chicken, sweet, and sour when I get to it. Here we go. Oh, careful you don't get it down yet. I'm trying not to. Oh my god, that's pretty so messy. Oh, isn't it? It smells good. And there you go lemon curd mousse, a bun, and some butter, and something that I'm not going to eat. Get your hand out of my dinner. It's not in your dinner. It was. 60% dairy cream milk, lemon curd, 20% wheat starch, vegetable oil, which is palm and rapeseed. I can't do anything about you going me, me, me. <laughs> Right. What do I you want? I assume you're talking about me. What is wrong? What's Corn wrong? does no. not belong in mac and cheese. Secondly, chilli doesn't have kidney beans in it. Well, that's not what it said. It was supposed to be mac and cheese. With beef. Yeah, but not chilli. Yeah, so the beef is chilli. What about you, babe? He's just enjoying his Maltesers. Just eating. Hi! Maltesers. <laughs> I've decided that I'm fasting again on the flight because what's the point in eating plain food if you're not really that bothered about it? So, donated my meal and Harry's donated his meal to Oliver. But it does look quite nice. It is. Not nice right. enough. It's lovely. If it's nothing, then it's two lots of nothing. <laughs> so the drinks came round at um, how many? Was it about an hour into the flight? About an hour, about in an hour into that we got the drinks, and then about an hour after that, that we got the food. I think time to destination six and a half hours. It's going really quickly so far. Yeah, it just feels like we've played boggle. We have. We'll play Boggle again. <laughs> not watched any films yet, but I'm sure no, we're going to. I've not done anything like that. I'll have to set my back up. No idea what I've done with it, so if you get any sound, it'll be a miracle to be honest. Harry, should he decide he wants to eat something when he wakes up? 
Is he still asleep? Yeah, I think so. Can I also have a coffee and a water. <laughs> Some milk Exciting. for my coffee. <laughs> still resisting food. No, it smells nice, so kind of regretting, not regretting my decision, but just keeping in mind how much crap, butter crap, I'm going to be eating over the next several weeks. Stay strong, Kirsten. Stay strong. I can't believe that the flight has gone so quickly. Um, We've got about 20 minutes till we'll land it. And we've had no sleep, we've had nothing to eat. Um, I've been listening to a bit of music, trying to figure out, uh, plan, finalise plans for a Disney Resort hopping day. And that's pretty much it. And the time has absolutely flown. But it still doesn't feel like we're going to get off the plane in Orlando. <laughs> Still playing boggle. Have we got, got children back there still? Still okay, Harry's a little bit worried that his ears are gonna hurt as we descend, but we're already started descending, so he should be fine. Um, he's done his best to get some sleep. He doesn't like flying. He's been sick so many times when we've flown, but so far so good today. Just watching the real shred. It's like a Formula One car. Well, it's not really much like a Formula One car, to be honest, but. It's like Lightning McQueen. You alright then? We're in America now. So we are. Not just America, all land. Yes, we are. <laughs> And they're dashing off ahead again. Well, there it is. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> it smells human. It's raining. Is it? Yes. It's not raining. Yes, it is. I can see it raining. I can smell it. Yeah. Smell ozone. Oh, I felt a bit. My first bit of Florida rain. Smells of America. Mm. This is ace. Feels good, feels hot. It feels humid. Oh, we're here. Oh, yeah, you can already feel the AC. <laughs> oh. So, someone's a bad driver. Want me? 
you sure? <laughs> we came into Terminal C and we have gone through now to, well, going through to Terminal B to pick up the car because apparently they have better selection of cars still at B and the visitor toll pass is also at, um, at Terminal B still. Not too many people here. <laughs> so it's still really quiet and weird. I mean obviously there were a lot of people there when we were trying to wait for baggage which took about 35-40 minutes I think in the end. So it could have been worse but it did seem to take quite a long time before the bags started coming out. And <laughs> if you could see the darting about backwards and forwards that people were doing, uh, trying to get the priority place, um, waiting for the baggage to come out. So it goes clockwise, and then in the middle of, not at the end, but the middle of the belt is where it comes out, that, and it goes clockwise. It's a full belt, so you can't really have a middle of it. Well, yeah, you can, because it's not a circle, is it? It's got ends. So yeah, don't go, don't wait at the ends if you want to get there when they come out. Go to the middle bit where you can see where the bags come out and um, wait after that bit. Of course, I don't know if they have the same thing on both sides. Can't help you out if that's the case. So, wh which wheel is it there that's? Uh, it's it's the yeah, but I can't see. Which is it on this one? What are these? It's the. Uh... Oh no, that one. Look. Missing. Yeah. Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's both of those two. Oh, stop kicking bits off. Yeah, you've got it. Next stop, Terminal Speed, then Dina. Hello, this is Orlando Mayor, buddy guy. Please stand clear of doors and hold on to handrails. When the terminal link stops, please exit to terminals A and B. That's more like it. This is the bit we recognise. <sighs> right, do we know where we're going now then? Oh, thank goodness. When was the last time you saw this, this empty? 2021. <laughs> 2020. <laughs> We've gone from Terminal C to Terminal B. To Terminal A. <laughs> terminal A. And we're going to stick at A. Oh, God. Tony was not happy at the, uh, the, the vehicles on offer at B. Um, and we had to come across to A anyway because the visitor toll pass is here. And we thought it was at B. So, so much for all the planning and research. <sighs> so here we are again. <laughs> yeah, right. Underneath the flag. Yeah. You don't get to see that side very often. Again. Let's hope he's a bit more satisfied with the cars on this side. And now Tony's holiday fun begins again. Oh, first disappointment of the holiday. We've got the same car as last time, which. No, it's well, not the same oh, as last time. Oh, well, I thought that was what you said. No, it was the time before. Oh. Don't know how room it is in there. Even with the seats. Don't know how little bit of room there is in the back of it. What well, is it? Not one that you can put the seats down? Yeah, of course it is. But well then. No. We don't. Let's just cut a loss this way. Unless you, if you really want to, I'm, I'm fine with you carrying on. No, I'll stick with the seats. Can't resolve it. I'll just put the seats down. I've got a white car, a big white car. I might, I will have to drive it at some point. It's pretty big. Oh, don't forget me.
I can't reach the top. I can't reach the top. We're in the car, we're on our way, and I'm running low on battery. That's the update. This is truly uncomfortable viewing since I've got home. I'll pop back with you in a bit, but for now, I'll leave you with our, well, maybe my first impressions of our Airbnb accommodation. Okay. Okay, so this is first look. Have we got any lights down here? Oh. Wow, yeah, this is a bit smaller than we used to. Okay, so there's no alarm on the top. Oh my god. What? I thought it was mouldy. Cushions yeah, so it's not. I. No, it's the thing. It's the pattern. Yeah. What about you? Snakes anywhere? No, no snakes in the pool. Hold on. There's a real. No snake in there. Where's the other one? Oh, there's a small one there. We got ducks. Those are turkeys. That over there is a turkey. Is it? Remember that. Oh, okay. it's a little yeah, tiny. Yeah, it's got a round face. What's it? Yeah. First pet of the holiday. We've got a table, TV with a sound bar, fairly huge plant on the table which you would think would, well, pretend plant that's seen better days as well. Um, How many snakes do you think? You would think that that would sort of spoil the the view. Are you going to hold the door open for Dad and I'll oh, try. Mahusive microwave and oven. If you hurry, Matt. So. Seal needs a bit of a clean, or is it just like, I think the seal's just a bit rusty now. It's a very old fridge freezer. It's not very old, I guess, far, is it? No. But everything's clean. Yeah. I've not got a problem with this, it's just not yeah. what we're used to. Nice and clean. Don't worry about snakes coming out. It's a fact that they can. Look, there's a fact that lots of things can happen. Look. No snake. Snake pops out. No snake. Oh, God. So, all that equipment is a little bit too close to my head for my liking. That cannot be good. The plans are universal, park for free after 6pm, buy the annual passes without having to pay for the first visit into the car park. We're then going to go for our first taste of Panda Express's orange chicken, which we've been looking forward to trying for years. Don't know why we've never got around to it before now. We're going to put that right tonight. No one's been in here yet. The toilet seats have been left, the toilet lids have been left. Well, that's something you don't usually see. Of 
the lake. Oh god, which one did I do? Oh god. There we go. Well. This is unusual. I think perhaps the less said the better. shorter than normal beds. Oh my god. Okay. I'm going to close the doors so that I see their faces when they come in. Especially for this treat. Okay. So this will be the boys' room then. Okay, that's, that's not so bad. been made. It's just not what I was expecting. You have to open the door and stand there so I can see you. So I can see your face. Turn the light on. Oh, just listen to two sentences. That's nice. No. But no, this isn't your bedroom. No. No. I don't know if that's another room now, I'm not sure. Yes, this is our bedroom. Ah. I can't remember what order everything is. This is the boys. Far better. Yeah. And then, Harold. Um, Tony, turn around. Yeah, I know. Just turn the light on. I know, babe. I knew about that before. Turn the light it. on. Ooh. What? Dear. What is that? <laughs> Something from the 1960s, I believe. Pre-sixties, maybe in the forties. Oh, you've got it, shall we? Fine, babe. Yeah, I know. It's just not what I was expecting. No, no, mate. Harry! You all right? Are you tired? Are you exhausted after that? If you had a chance to actually see what's in the room. What? What? You didn't have the same reaction as I did. What would you like the really fancy stuff? Fancy. That's one word for it. What? Minging? How is it minging? Okay, it's just me. It's fine to be fancy, Mum. <laughs> fancy. I appreciate the travel day ended somewhat abruptly. We had a change of plan. The reason for that will be coming up in a future video, of course. Um, so I would urge you to subscribe. The button should be coming up now. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you.